Each H66 has two cockpits, one forward, one aft. This boat has a forward steering station located under cover on the opposite side is a wheel in the forward well. The boat also has twin tillers aft. You could also get the boat with aft steering with wheels that articulate outward for easy visibility. The cockpit on the forward station boats is larger because you just don't have the wheels. The forward station is center line with decent visibility and opening window. See my interior video for how all the controls work. The navigation station can also be used as a steering station with the autopilot. It too also has excellent visibility. Two aft tillers look straight down the deck, easy to see. The forward well has another wheel, three winches, two for the reacher, one for your hires. Everything is brought here, including the reacher sheets, which can be brought to the well or aft. It too has very good visibility. At the aft tiller stations, you have secondary controls, including daggerboard up and down, main sheet, Genoa sheet, and traveler. Access to the deck is rather rapid, both from inside and also from the well. You could leave through either door, and there's a set of steps up to the deck on either side of the boat. Forward of the well, the deck is unobstructed. It's easy and quick access to get to the outboard sides of the hulls. With the forward steering station version of the HH66, it gives you a larger canvas to work with for your aft cockpit. This is due to the fact that there are no wheels on the bulkhead or their steps to lead up to them. With the other version, you still have a pretty decent cockpit, it's just a different configuration. The table on this boat is a little bit unique compared to other boats. It has sliders underneath of it, and it can push the table towards the center of the cockpit, or push it up against the cushion here to make room, more room in the cockpit. So for a dinner party, in, an, in its pushed out mode, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe even nine people. And keeping in mind, you have another table on the other side of the boat. What's interesting about this side, too, is that this opens up and you have direct access to the galley, so things can be passed out and put right on the table. You're totally protected from the sun and the elements because there's a carbon fiber uh, roof extension or bimini overhead, and it has uh, dimmable LED lights as well, and it has floor lights if you don't want those on. The port side table has adjustable leaves. It can retract and make a berth. It can seat six people and has a reversing backrest on the other side so you can face aft. There's unencumbered access to both the forward and aft cockpits. The aft platforms are big enough to sit on even in full scuba gear and there's a side step that's wide enough for you to be able to step on from a dock with groceries. This is one spacious engine compartment. There's a platform on top of the engine that you can walk on. You can lift it off easily. And everything's on the bulkhead, which I'll show you, is all super, super accessible. There's a lot of room in here, good access to your steering, to your rudder posts. It's really an ideal setup for an engine room. The big difference between this boat, the HH-66 and the HH-55, besides the room and the overall size when you look at it, is this boat really requires uh, a crew. Meaning, if you were just a couple, you might want to have a third person. If it's just you, you're going to want a captain and a steward or two assistants. You can sail the boat by yourself because it's been done, but that's more of a, a thing just to show that you can do it. Ideally, you have that second person. Uh, the two people delivery crews are very common on this, but three is better.